Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of the Evil Space. And as you can see, I am doing a couple little things right now. I'm actually installing some pot lights above the bamboo farms, uh, just because. Uh, you know, it's nice to have a nice place like this. It's also nice to see it lit up at night. And there's that visual glitch with the windows. We'll see uh, what the dev can do about that. I have brought it up to his attention, and we'll see what happens. But anyways, uh, I am doing this the easy way. I'm using, I'm abusing game mechanics here to build this. Uh, the reason being is trying to build scaffolding up here to actually build, put these lights in as a paint. So what I'm doing is every object in the game, doesn't matter how big it is, has a hitbox, uh, sort of like a snapping grid. So even though it's on the ground right now, as long as I have a green box, It'll place. I can place it sideways like this, or I can place it like that. And it's still floating. So what I'm doing is I'm going in the hole, and I'm rotating it up so it's in the top position. And then I just place the concrete back on top. And that's how I make pot lights at the same time, too. This is going to give a little bit of, a bit of a minor definition to the actual build itself. Just got a couple more here. Uh, let me finish these up, and I'll bring you back. We'll have a look at it. And... Now let's go show you, take you inside, and I'll show you what I've done in there. Okay, I'm done. Uh, I was actually thinking about putting these stairs on here, sort of like a, a contour, but the color is way off. So I won't be doing that because I made this thing, whole thing out of concrete, and I'm not rebuilding it out of brick. No way. But let's see if we can actually land on a perch from here and have a look at it. Eh, that's not going to happen. I'll not jump. There we go. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. Yeah. Definitely need that extra height. Come on. I wish I knew how to actually get that boost when you need it. That was it. Then you gotta hit just before you hit space again just before you hit the ground. And thank God for no fall damage. So that lights it up pretty good. As you can see I got a couple more lights down here. Ooh. Still have the jetpack on. So I was trying to work something out here. What I did is uh, I had that double stair up there. So I took that out, put a block there just to make it more solid. And then I put some lights in there. I was trying to get some pillars in, as you can see here. But they're totally different color. So we'll just have to go with this for now. In the meantime, uh, let's actually go inside and see how the lighting is. As you can see, I put some lighting in here. I'm thinking of maybe bringing them one block closer. So at least it's a little lighter in here, but this isn't bad. I don't mind it. And then you go over here, and this actually, oh, I actually like that. I really do like that. And it gets enough light in here, so I don't always have to worry about having everything, having to do the old cheaty sunrise maneuver, but I'm going to do it anyways. It's nice to see those coke ovens glowing at night, too. Anyway, enough of this nighttime stuff. Back with the day. So anyways, what I want to do today is uh, something that was also suggested to me to by the developer a while ago is about uh, why I'm still using Steam for everything, like for, I say this, but like the hammer and, uh, well, I'm not using Steam engines anymore, but for like the hammers especially, I do have some hammers going on. Uh, oh, that must be those. But either way, I am wasting Steam on the hammers when I should be using that steam for the turbines and then using the power that I'm generating from these turbines which is just basically sitting in these batteries doing nothing and I should actually turn it into compressed air. Now let's look at the recipes. Uh, let's, yeah, we'll go with this one here. Uh, if we go to the recipe here for, for using steam in a hammer for aluminum tier is 10 seconds. Using compressed air is 8 seconds so it actually speeds it up. Uh, the only thing I'm concerned about is the power to air fluid and then the kinetic energy to electricity and then the steam to kinetic, en kinetic energy to see how well it's all going to transition. But I can always build more turbines, I can always get more s boilers running if I need to. So yeah, I've decided I'm going to get, my, uh, get some more lights in here too. I've decided to put the compressor room area over here. Let's see if we can get a little brighter in here. That's better. But yeah, I think I'm about getting the compressors in here. Uh, 
Well, even then, I don't really need that many compressors because what's running off of air, really? Everything's all on electricity at the moment. But the only thing that isn't on... The only thing that is on air is the hammers. Uh, I think I can actually use a metal press for that, too. Let's see here. Uh, cutting machine from blocks. Hammer from ingots. Craft by hand. Okay, I thought you could use a metal press for it. Apparently not. Uh, what does it take to make an aluminum block? Craft by hand. So, yeah. Uh, what was I doing here? Oh, I'm lost. What was I looking at? I can't even remember. Oh, yeah. About way to get this done with electricity, but it doesn't seem to be any way to actually do it. So we're just going to do it with air. Simple. All right. I do have to get some supplies on me, so let's run up there. Uh, what I am going to do, too, another one. I don't know if I'm going to do it right now because that, that thing is full, and i got to get that running because we're actually out of what? waste water. Yes. The reason is because I don't actually have anything running through these machines except for uh, steel here. Uh, I got nothing upstairs in the aluminum. Uh, I was thinking about getting to stainless today, but I think we should probably get this taken care of because I'm going to need as much power as I can get. And the more steam I get to these turbines, the more power I generate. I can even get more going. Uh, I may also look into getting to the steam generator, but or the steam turbine, but or the gas steam turbine, but. Sh we don't actually get until we get into stainless. But with that, I can use the creosote. And it does get a 16 kinetic. I could be using the methane, which we get as more in the same amount of time. But that needs ox oxygen as well. Oxygen. Oh. Okay, you can run it off a straight creosote. We should get 8 kinetic. If I get into the hydrogen, that's going to be. An electrolyzer, that's going to be a fermenting chamber with a pumpkin farm and other fun stuff, but we'll we'll see how it goes. What do I need the, the oxygen? Oxygen was... Oh, God. Here's that rabbit hole again. And that's not even it's a hard metal. Well, that doesn't make sense. You can't even get oxygen until you get to hard metal. Then why is it showing a recipe for stainless? And a stone tier recipe. <laughs> Early access, what can I say? Anyway, uh, let's get that off my hotbar. That light was freaking me out. Uh, let's see here. So what do I need for the air compressors? I need... Not much, apparently. I uh, figured they would be a little more expensive than that. That's fine. Oh, yes, I was... Uh, playing around with all these logic circuits and uh, yeah I got them figured out this is uh, an idea someone I saw on I think it was on Steam about somebody basically made a clock well not necessarily a clock but a uh, repeating clock so basically turning power on and off uh, this is as you can see an aluminum logic switch it's basically a power switch that is controlled by uh, relays more or less and what this is basically doing is this clock is just basically let me put it by GUI is just releasing a pulse every 10 seconds and it goes through and it activates the latch and then activates the, the delay the delay is set to a five second delay so what happens is the clock triggers the latch immediately and it switches the state of whatever this circuit is if it's on then the lights on if it's if it's on, then it turns it off. If it's off, then it turns it on. And then it activates the delay. So it activates this first and it activates the delay. Like basically right after the delay, sends out another pulse five seconds after, which triggers the latch again, turning it back off. So the clock does one cycle. The delay just repeats that cycle five seconds later through the latch, triggering this again. So something like this can be used to set up now it can be set up to be used for like the bamboo farms to be able to turn them off when they need it. Uh, there's also a logic vent, and this is, as you can see, for pipes. I'm assuming that it works for uh, fluids as well, because I might actually try to get something like this set up with uh, the creosote, and then that way I can have a couple of these set up so when the system's empty, it automatically shuts off the drain. 
it starts filling when the system's full it shuts off the filling system and starts draining the rest there is hiding back here because I was messing around with things uh, work detector and basically when the machine's running this is gonna light up send a signal to this which is just a LED it's just basically a light light you know hey something's on or off and in this case it's off if I were to throw something in there it would start running but I have nothing in the system right now uh, I probably could stick something in here what can I what can I grind with you uh, a lot of stuff apparently all right well I can stick this aluminum plate in here and as it starts running the light turns on then uh, yeah, that'll go through do a single into going to here but nothing happens there because that's not, that's, not, that's not supposed to go in there but anyways this is actually quite interesting and I was also looking through there's actually other stuff uh, that's in the aluminum tier by the way uh, get into stainless and we get other logic stuff as well uh, I just saw oh yeah solar panels for one and that's actually gonna be pretty handy but then we have counters uh, there was another one too. I'll just quickly show you this before we get into getting this com whole compressor system set up. Actually, before I run back downstairs, uh, don't mind me. Just take a whole bunch of plates. Do, 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 do. I'm gonna take a whole bunch actually because uh, I want to try to keep my pipe systems fail safe that they don't get mixed up. So what I'm thinking about doing is switching one of the either the steam or the compressed air over to aluminum. Uh, if I switch the aluminum, uh, the compressed air over to aluminum, or the steam over to aluminum, then basically all these hammers have to be replumbed, which wouldn't be that hard, hard, but it will have to be done. Uh, oh yeah, this one here. This is an indicator, and what it does is actually tells you uh, how much, how many resources are transferring through it in a given amount of time so zero per second or however many per, per minute now from what I can tell that there is no delay in items transferring through these so using these as a high-speed conveyor may be an option because uh, you hook it up directly to the output of a machine and input of another machine and then maybe it'd be an instantaneous transfer instead of having to worry about conveyors or even pneumatic tubes Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and make some uh, compressors. So I'm going to make five. I'm going to make six for now. Because I think, well, it's probably more than what I need. In fact, probably only use four right now. Yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think what I'm going to do. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We'll just we'll set up four for now. Oh, these are small. Oh god, I thought this was gonna be huge. Uh, let's see, power in, air out. Mm, this is simple. All right, uh, let's see here. Power at the bottom, air at the top. Let's mount this on the wall, just because I can. Uh, let's see which way should I have power go going in. Power on the top, air, air out the bottom. Sounds good to me. Three and four. Okay, grab my... Uh, get some space on the bar first. Put the power wires up top. Uh, like uh, so. Give me that back, please. You're not doing anything there. And then I gotta make a whole bunch of pipes. So let me do that and I'll be right back. Okay, I got two stacks crafted already. So... I've been thinking about what I'm going to do here. I think I might do a smart thing. I'm just going to find out all the machines at, or the, find out where all my hammers are. Just take off the cop pipe. We're going to leave the air pipe here on this floor. I'm going to run up across the ceiling just to make things a little bit easier. And we'll just do like that. There is nothing over there that needs air. And uh, nope. Okay. So now I gotta find out where these are getting their su supply from, and they're coming in from down there. So that I can take this hammer off, and as you can see by the empty pipe, we don't have enough steam to go around, anyways. So like so, 
And come on. I can't tell where this is going. There we go. So there's that one. And then I have two more hammers here. I'll place you there for now because you are busy doing something. I'm actually surprised I still have iron in the system. Okay, there's that one. And then. I got another hammer here. Oh, I gotta get a copper line too. Alright, well, uh, let me get this taken care of and I'll bring you back when I'm done. Okay, I'm back. And I may have seemed to have found a bug. Uh, what happened was I still had the copper line attached and I hooked up the steam by the aluminum. And then I just took the copper pipe out, put the aluminum back one back in. And it's got, st it's got steam for some reason. I don't know how. Not unless it's still somehow connected to this. That does not make any sense. Yes, it is early access. I know I say that a lot, but it is. Anyway, we'll let that do whatever it wants to do. So I'm going to run back over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to get more pipes on the bar. And we're going to go across like so. I am going to anticipate expansion. So I am going to come across here. Now, which way do I want to go? Realistically, I want to go. I should go this way. Just because everything's over on this side. And then I'm going to create a main line going across. And just connect everything up to it. So there's one. And two. And uh, that hole there. And I think that one over there. It's for upstairs. So let me get this hooked up and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything all tied into the system. I still don't know where... Oh, it's running out of here. Okay, finally it's running out of steam by the looks of it. Okay, yeah, I think it might have been this hammer. I took this hammer out and put, put it back in and now it seems to be okay. I was actually wondering if maybe it, the aluminum pipe was connecting to the copper pipe somewhere. And uh, in order for this to actually work, I can't have any steam in that pipe or else the air won't go into the pipe. Alright, so now where is my electrical cable? All the way over there. Uh, Grab some copper. There's no copper in there. Uh, where is it? I'm lost. Uh oh. Actually, do I have any copper in here? Yeah, I put some storage chests here for now just for dumping all my stuff in until I can actually get some stuff organized around here because, what can I say? I'm a slob. Boop. Went off there. Go ahead and make uh, some more wire. That should be enough. I got 12 for now. Uh, let's see. Oh, I got power over here. We'll actually do that instead. Are these electric furnaces? Oh, they are. Uh, it doesn't really matter about these ones because these don't do much. They're just processing uh, dirty water. That's all. What? I'm trying to build this right over top. There we go. That'll do it. And I'll take this out just because, hey, you know, trying to be conservative. If you believe that, you haven't been with the channel very long. Anyway, so I am going over to here. So I think we'll just do it the old-fashioned way, just fly it over there. All right, we are almost done. So this is not doing anything yet because nothing to do yet. It needs power. You need to wait for all these wires to craft and all the fun stuff. It's kind of bright in here. It'd almost be nice if uh, the dev would actually make like strip lighting, like fluorescent lights. Not necessarily fluorescent lights, but you know, strip lighting that looks like the tube lights. Just because. Okay, are these actually doing something now? Hey, it's there. 
I know I said the time was always time was supposed to be less, but this is a steel and not aluminum. But that is good, which means these turbines should be running better. As long as I don't lose power, that's all I care about. Uh, again, nothing's going over here because nothing's to actually go. So what I think I might actually do is I might go on a bit of a quick mining run here to go see if there's actually any aluminum going through the system. Because if I get ore processing, then this is going to be running. If it's not making concrete, at least, then at least to be making bricks. So that'll be running. And then the steel line will be running, the copper line will be running, the aluminum line will be running. Everything will be maxed out, and we'll see if the system can actually hold up. So let's go see what we got going on here. And nothing. Alright, well, uh, let me go do some mining, and I'll be back. Well, I gotta say, that's new. I've never seen any creatures in the game before. There's actually a little spider. That's cool. Anyway, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. And it took a minute for my building to load in. Well, not maybe a minute, but about 20 seconds for everything to show up. But yeah, I have a little over a dozen stacks of everything. So, copper, iron, and then we run upstairs. And we get that a aluminum going and then we'll actually see if the system can handle it okay now what I might actually do too is have uh, uh, inputs for everything downstairs so I can put it in downstairs it gets fed up through the machines and then sent to storage afterwards after it's been all processed so let's pay attention to what's going on here make sure everything is going through okay so where is this it is still in the macerator is it? Now it's going to the macerator. And so on and so forth. So I'm going to actually let this go for a minute till, so we can have all the machines running. And I'll let, bring you back and we either have a problem or we have a very successful setup. Okay, so everything is going right now. And as you can see, we're starting to get a little bit of a draw. Now the good, thi good thing is, is we actually do have some surplus um, steam, yes. We do have some surplus steam, so I can go ahead and get some aluminum plates, and we'll get another another generator and turbine going. Alright, so aluminum, 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 there we go. Alright, so I need, I think I made copper wire for that generator, yes. Do -do 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 -do. Take a few copper out of here. And oh, yeah, I need components too, which I don't have, but I do have ingots. Not enough ingots. What? Hold on. Oh, uh, I'm short on copper. Yeah, I need a little more copper than that. There we go. So make the generator, and then we need a steam turbine which needs some more aluminum I don't think I have it in here do I no I don't alright and yes I still have the two other air compressors in case I need them but everything seems to be okay because it seems like only two of them are actually having to be replenished right now so we're not too bad and I went the wrong way alright so I need to grab a couple of these and make one of those run back downstairs and we'll just stick it right here with the rest of them why not oh that's still crafting all right how's the battery situation doing actually this isn't bad i want to make sure everything's actually running this one I never dashed it sw switch over to um electric But it doesn't matter. Uh, actually, does it? Ah, I'm not worried about it. Uh, yeah, we'll figure that out later. Maybe what I'll do is I'll hook that back up. Give me a second. Okay, I got it all set up. I uh, also had a bit of an issue where uh, 
uh, yeah, we're having a bit of a backlog of uh, ore washer, or yeah, ore washer water. So I went ahead and made some aluminum containers, and I don't know where I'm gonna put these things. Maybe, maybe we'll put them right here. And those filled up fast. And they actually hold 15. You know what? We should put a big tank on this thing somewhere. But this will do for now. At least it'll keep the the, the washers going. The copper wasn't running because it was, well, the iron wasn't running because it was full of water. But that is fine. So everything's just basically backlogged right now. Everything is running. We have iron going through. We have copper going through. It's being cut. I set up an electric motor on here too, just to get off the steam system for the turbines. Uh, like I said, I have another turbine ready and generator. And we are holding up on the power. Kind of makes me wonder if anything's actually everything's actually running. Uh, I could probably switch all these hammers over too to aluminum. Maybe all the machines. Oh yeah! Oh wow! We got a backlog already. Oh my god! Good. That means we're gonna have to start using up all these resources. Uh, so far, everything is holding up. I'm wasn't actually all that confident it was gonna work, but that is it. We are using steam for turbines only. These turbines are generating air, which are running our machines, and they're also generating. Well, they're generating electricity, which is generating air to power our machines. Which is good, because that just keeps the load off of these ones here, and also keeps the load off the cold dust situation. Because as long as these aren't constantly boiling, these aren't going to be constantly using f fuel, which means there's going to be a backlog of creosote, or not creosote, cold dust. Can I actually get in there? No, I can't. There's a pipe in my way. Let's go down and have a look at it, if I can. Okay, where are we here? There's the boilers. Those ones are actually doing pretty good, too. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, alt to crouch. I forgot. All right, let's see how we're doing here. So we are starting to get some backlog here. About 500, that's good. So that is awesome. We have our creosote taken care of. Oh, no. Our air situation taken care of. Let me take care of the... the lighting situation here. Uh, oh, let's run to the back. Oy, I made it. You know, it's amazing how much iron there is around here. Like, unbelievable. Uh, I do have to keep an eye on the creosote here, because we are keeping it now. But since I've got the uh, ore processing going, it's going to start going down eventually, because we're burning the creosote for the, the few smelters that I have in the line. But if this keeps going up at a good enough rate, then we might be able to use that for something else. Uh, let me check, see how long we've been recording here, and I'll be right back. Yeah, I think it's a good time to call the episode. Uh, yeah, so the crazy is doing good, good. Definitely, I have these two barrels just to keep the backlog going, and these hold 256, which is really good. So at least I don't have to worry about it too much. Uh, like I said, I do want to get something like that in here for the ore water. The ore water. And this is only building up right now because I'm processing stuff. As soon as that stuff stops, stops processing, then we don't get ore water. And if once, uh, in the meantime, we're definitely going to have a lot of bricks saved up. Uh, don't really need them much for anything really except concrete, so I'll probably just let that go. Uh, you can keep making concrete till you're full, and then uh, what I'll do next episode, I think we'll start working on some conveyor hijinks to try to load this thing with some steel plates because I had to get this line out of the way because it was in my way. But anyways, I uh, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.